In this tutorial, we're going to look at storyboards. Now, there are many different ways to do storyboards uh, in real life. Just looking at doing storyboards for the different things like web design or a movie or a complicated accounting piece of software, there are many, many different ways of doing it. However, in the Board of Studies or in the NESA agreed way of doing it, there's a very distinct way that they want to see you doing your storyboards. A couple of things to remember. The storyboard shows how a user moves through a system. And as such, it needs to display the source of information in a sort of obscured way, but also the key places on a screen which direct the user to go to other places. So if you were to consider this as a login screen, we might have your username, your password, and then a login button here. This button here is the thing that we care about because that will then become the link to the next part of the storyboard. So the storyboard then might say, have profile information, other things like that, but then other buttons that do things. These buttons then become the trigger points for the next part of the storyboard. You don't need to go into too much information about what each page does. The only thing you need to worry about are what controls on the screen and how they direct the user to different parts of the application. That is entirely it. That's how you do a screen design.